Section. Introduction. In this section, we will discuss the concept of large language models, LLMs, and their alignment methods. LLMs have been successful in following human instructions accurately. One common method used for aligning LLMs is reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. RLHF works by maximizing a reward function, which can be a separate model or reparameterized by the LLM policy. This reward function is learned from data where humans have labeled their preferences for prompt response pairs. The key to successful alignment lies in having diverse responses in the preference data. This diversity prevents the reward models from getting stuck in local optimal solutions, leading to the development of more capable language models. Offline alignment methods struggle to create diverse responses for fixed prompts due to the vast space of natural language. On the other hand, online alignment involves iteratively sampling responses from the LLM and receiving feedback to train the reward model. However, in standard online RLHF frameworks, the LLM's objective is solely to maximize the expected reward from the collected data. This can lead to responses being clustered around local optimal solutions, causing issues like overfitting and premature convergence. To tackle this problem, we propose an active exploration method for online alignment to generate novel and favorable responses. Our proposed method adds an optimism term to the reward fitting objective, creating a bi-level optimization objective for the reward model. By incorporating this optimism term, we aim to have a reward model that fits the data well while also exploring high reward regions effectively. This approach, named Self-Exploring Language Models, SELM, biases the policy gradient towards more rewarding areas and improves exploration efficiency. In experiments using base models Zephyr 7 BSFT and LAMA 3 to 8B Instruct, SELM significantly enhances performance on various benchmarks. By fine-tuning on the ultra-feedback dataset and using pair RM for iterative AI feedback, SELM achieves notable improvements in performance compared to baseline methods like DPO. Our code and models are available for further exploration. Section Summary In this section, we introduce the concept of large language models, LLMs, and their alignment methods, particularly reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF, which aims to improve LLMs by maximizing reward functions learned from human-labeled prompt response data. We propose an active exploration method within online alignment to elicit novel responses by incorporating an optimism term into the reward-fitting objective, leading to a more accurate reward model that explores high reward regions efficiently. This approach, known as Self-Exploring Language Models, SELM, enhances LLM training by biasing policy gradients towards rewarding areas and improving performance on various benchmarks. Section. Reinforcement Learning from Human Feedback, RLHF. In this section, we focus on reinforcement learning from human feedback, RLHF. Our standard RLHF approach involves learning a reward model and then optimizing the LLM policy using this learned reward. To simplify, we use a pointwise reward function that assigns scores to responses based on prompts. The preference distribution is represented using the Bradley-Terry model, which compares preferred and dispreferred responses given a prompt. The goal is to optimize the LLM policy to maximize expected rewards while staying close to a base reference policy. When we are given a dataset of comparisons, we can learn the reward model by minimizing a logistic regression loss. This learned reward is then used to optimize the LLM policy through reinforcement learning. The objective is to maximize rewards while minimizing the difference from the reference policy. The reference policy helps address the distribution shift problem between the true preference distribution and the learned policy during training. Moving on to direct alignment from preference, Recent works have aimed to eliminate the need for a separate reward model by deriving the preference loss directly from the policy. The ERM free objective for active exploration introduces modifications to the optimistic biased objective discussed earlier. By incorporating a KL divergence loss term and adjusting the optimistic bias term, 
we aim to encourage active exploration while maintaining alignment with the reference policy. We formulate a bi-level optimization problem with optimism, where we optimize the policy under a given reward function. By reparameterizing the reward function, we obtain an RM-free objective for direct preference alignment with optimism. This new objective promotes active exploration by biasing the gradient towards regions that can elicit high reward responses. Analyzing the gradient with respect to the reparameterized reward function, we observe that the added optimism term guides the gradient towards rewarding areas. This mechanism ensures that the LLM strikes a balance between exploring new responses and exploiting known ones, leading to a more accurate and aligned model as more feedback data is collected. Section Summary In this section, we present modifications to the optimistically biased objective introduced earlier. By replacing the optimistic bias term with a new term and incorporating a KL divergence loss between the policy and a reference policy, we ensure that the resulting optimistic reward model encourages responses with high potential unknown to the reference policy while minimizing deviation. This erm free objective for direct preference alignment with optimism promotes active exploration by biasing the gradient towards parameter regions that can elicit responses with high implicit rewards, ultimately leading to a more accurate and aligned learning model. Section Algorithm In this section, we present our algorithm, Self Exploring Language Models, SELM. With the optimistically biased objective we derived earlier, our language model can actively generate out-of-distribution responses that are worth exploring. We then incorporate human or AI feedback to reduce uncertainty in these regions. These two steps are carried out iteratively to align the model more closely with the desired outcomes. In practice, we divide the offline preference dataset into three equal parts, one for each iteration. Additionally, we utilize AI rankers, like external reference models, RMs, to provide feedback on both the model-generated response and the original chosen or rejected responses. Our algorithm aims to reduce the indiscriminate favoring of unseen extrapolations through self-exploration. We observed that directed policy optimization, DPO, tends to bias the distribution towards unseen extrapolated responses. This bias occurs because, during training, as the model diverges from the reference policy, it favors generating responses that are different from those of the reference model. This bias can lead to exploring OOD regions, which may uncover novel responses. However, DPO can also favor unseen extrapolations indiscriminately, leading to inefficient exploration. To address this issue, SELM introduces guided exploration by minimizing a self-exploration objective in addition to the standard DPO loss. This objective aims to reduce the probability of generating responses with low implicit rewards, ultimately improving exploration efficiency. By maximizing the difference between the model's distribution and the reference distribution, the model learns to avoid generating low reward responses, focusing instead on responses with high potential rewards. One challenge in fine-tuning language models is collecting high-quality demonstration data, including instruction following expert data and preference data. To tackle this challenge, synthetic data has been used to align language models with user intentions. Synthetic datasets can be generated by considering target outputs as instruction following responses or distilling high-quality data from strong models to fine-tune weaker ones. Compared to offline preference optimization algorithms, online preference optimization, especially iterative or batched approaches, can gather better synthetic data as the model improves. Our method explores optimistically without explicitly estimating uncertainty, avoiding the need for fitting multiple reference models. Section Summary In this section, we introduce an algorithm called Self-Exploring Language Models, SELM that aims to align language models by actively generating and exploring out-of-distribution responses with human or AI feedback. SELM mitigates the issue of indiscriminate favoring of unseen responses by incorporating a self-exploration objective that guides the model to selectively prefer responses with high potential rewards, improving exploration efficiency without explicitly estimating uncertainty. Additionally, 
Synthetic data synthesis techniques are proposed to address the challenge of collecting diverse and high-quality data for fine-tuning language models, especially in the context of online iterative preference optimization. Section. Active Exploration. In this section, we explore active exploration methods in reinforcement learning beyond large language models, LLMs. Most sample-efficient RL algorithms estimate uncertainty in the environment from past data and then plan optimistically or choose actions based on sampled action values. Our self-exploration objective falls under optimism-based exploration methods. Previous methods often struggle with estimating upper confidence bounds accurately. Ensemble methods can help but are still computationally demanding. Our approach combines estimation and planning effectively, similar to MEX, and has theoretical guarantees in traditional RL setups. RPO also uses an adversarial reward model to optimize policies in offline RLHF settings. For our experiments, we use the Ultra Feedback dataset with 61K conversation preference pairs. We train on 8x A100 GPUs using the pair RM Ranker for AI feedback. We start by implementing an iterative version of DPO as a baseline and then conduct a hyperparameter grid search to optimize settings. We train SELM using the best settings and LLMs fine-tuned with RLHF after SFT. We test SELM on Alpaca Eval 2.0 and MT Bench benchmarks, showing significant improvements over baselines. SELM consistently enhances model performance in each iteration, outperforming other post-training algorithms like SPIN, DNO, and SPPO. In summary, SELM boosts performance on various benchmarks, even outperforming larger LLMs. It shows consistent improvements in each iteration and performs well with different base models. Our method is robust and effective, offering the best overall performance across multiple benchmarks. SELM's self-exploration objective can be applied to different online alignment frameworks, making it versatile and compatible with various algorithm designs. Section Summary In this section, we delve into active exploration methods in reinforcement learning, focusing on optimism-based exploration strategies that estimate uncertainty in the environment. We propose a self-exploration objective that combines estimation and planning efficiently, demonstrating improved performance on instruction following chat benchmarks like Alpaca Eval 2.0 and MT Bench, showcasing consistent enhancements in each iteration and outperforming iterative DPO methods even with weaker base models. Section. Ablation Study. In this section, we conducted ablation studies to gain a better understanding of the explorative optimism term. We started by examining how the optimism coefficient alpha affects the performance of SELM using the Zephyr 7 BSFT model in the Alpaca Eval 2.0 benchmark. When alpha is set to a small value like 0.0001, SELM behaves similarly to the baseline iterative DPO, alpha equals O. On the other hand, a large alpha can make SELM overly optimistic, leading to reduced effectiveness. These findings confirmed our expectations, highlighting the importance of choosing suitable alpha values to balance exploration and exploitation effectively. Next, we looked into how reward distributions change with different alpha values and iterations. By sampling from the LLM using prompts from the Ultra Feedback Holdout test set and generating rewards with pair RM, we analyzed the distribution of reward values. The results for different alpha values of Selm Eider 2, Zephyr, showed that higher alpha values lead to more concentrated distributions in regions with higher rewards. Moreover, as shown in the results, the reward distribution shifts towards higher values with more training iterations. This shift reflects an initial exploration phase where the LLM produces responses of varying quality, followed by an exploitation phase as feedback is integrated and more training data is gathered. We also investigated the implicit reward captured by the SELM and DPO models. The implicit reward is represented as hat r underscore theta x y equals beta log pi underscore theta y mid x log pi underscore text ref y mid x for both models 
by calculating the reward difference hat r underscore text selm x y hat r underscore text dpo x y for each prompt x in the ultra feedback holdout test set we compared the implicit rewards of good chosen and bad rejected responses where y equals y underscore w or y equals y underscore l sorting the reward differences and plotting the results for zephyr based models after iteration one revealed that selm produces higher implicit rewards for both chosen and rejected responses compared to dpo supporting the optimistically biased self-exploration objective proposed in our study.